Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenvolix channel. And today we're going to be building the Gundam Base Limited Narrative Gundam B pack. So, if you bought the A pack and you bought the expansion set, I'm sorry, you're ripped off because that costs like 150. I don't know why you can't do this in 65. But anyway, today that's not the topic. For the box art, though, I gotta say that um, it's pretty lame, but I'll just take it. Other than that, uh, I don't think there's nothing else need to say. It. It's just a pretty stupid way that they, you know, need to put the expansion set and the A pack together. It's pretty stupid, but we're just gonna need to live with it. And now, <clears throat> looking at the side right here, it is just a very simple action detail thing right here. Looking at this, uh, we have this cable wire guided assaulting unit. And then at the side right here, we can see some small detail about the weapons. And then flip it to the other side, we're just basically talking about like the Gundam base thing that have that probably everybody knows. So it's not really that important. So now we're just gonna open up the box first. Actually, I just found out that B pack sold as a separate gambler. I kind of understand why they sold it as an expansion set because if you look at the narrative movie, uh, B pack doesn't really come out for very long. Mainly it's the C pack and the A pack have like a longer screen time. B pack have like 10 minutes and that's basically it. So now we're just gonna quickly flick through the instruction menu. As you can see right here, most of the parts has been used because as I mentioned, uh, it's just a very basic narrative Gundam with a very different backpack. That's basically it. And then just quickly flick through it. Um, you've seen this on the CPAC video, so I don't think I need to go through any kind of detail or something like that. So first we have a D runner. The D runner contains the feet part, some part of the uh, waist up here. And then this two backpack part is completely useless, so we can just ignore it. Then we have a C1 and C2 part. They are exactly the same, so I just take one as a demonstration. So C1 right here, we can see the shoulder part, the waist part, the legs part, and this is the uh, the feet part down here. And then we have the, I believe this is the torso. Yes, and this is the head part right here as well. We have an F2 part, this is the cockpit uh, core fighter. We have an E1 runner, this is the torso and the... Uh, I believe this is the head part as well. E2 runner with the antenna. F1 runner contains the window of the core fighter and the head part as well. 2XB runner, this is a new runner. This is for the, um, the wire guide funnel at the backpack. And this is basically the new part. XA1 and the XA2 runner, they are, they are pretty much the same. So I'll just take the XA1 to be the demonstration part. So the XA1 runner, they are all, this is all the new parts of the backpack as well. You can see the huge um, double circle thing on the backpack as well. And that's basically the new parts for the B pack. And then we have the XC part right here. This is a new runner as well. We can see there's two clear stand at the top here. This is for the funnel for you to uh, stand it on the action base. And then down here, we can see all the connector for the uh, funnels. And then we can see the shield right here, missiles. And this is part of the backpack as well. An A1 and A2 runner because they are basically the same. So I'll just take one. The A1 runner right here, we can see the torso part, the feet part, and then we have some kind of inner frame of the torso. We can see the waist part down here. We can see the feet part. We can see the legs part right here, the torso parts. And then the head part right for this too. And then we can see this is the side skirt, the Gundam head, I mean the Gundam face. And then we can see the hand armor right here. And then you can see some, some arms part right here. There's some shoulders right here. And we have two very not famous wire right here because they are just serve as a funnel part. We have the poly caps right here. It's exactly the same as the one on the C pack. I don't need to say anything. And then we lastly, we have the beam savers right here, which is pretty normal as well. And for the stickers, it's the same as the C pack, which you have the option to equip on the normal mode or the one uh, when the NTD mode is activated. We have a B, two B runners right here. This is for the inner frame of the narrative Gundam. It is pretty simple. You saw it last time. It, this is all this part is the legs part right here. And then we can see the, um, I believe this is the waist part. And then we can see some hands option right here. The arms part right here. And that's the torso part right here. I mean the waist part right here. Okay, well back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Narrative Gundam B-Pack. So this is the finishing of it. The Narrative Gundam B-Pack is pretty tall. 
uh, I have a very hard time to try to fit it in the frame. So apologize, uh, my apologies for car making the whole thing fit into the frame. Uh, right now we'll just uh, stick with whatever I got right here. So uh, for the B pack right here, I have a couple things that I want to say. The B pack itself, it looks pretty good. Uh, I kind of, I pretty like this kind of design. It's uh, simple and it's pretty unique as well. I like this design, but um, it contained the same problem like the narrative Gundam C pack that I reviewed uh, a couple weeks ago, um, which is uh, the frame is actually pretty soft, especially on the torso that I mentioned before. And this time, not just the torso, this time the legs is pretty loose as well. So, uh, my recommendation is you might want to do something to kind of tighten up the joints that I just mentioned, uh, mainly the torso and the legs. Those are the joints that you really need to fix because it's really loose. And uh, other than that, it doesn't it doesn't have all kinds of problem. But if you watch my narrative Gundam C pack uh, review before, you know that I'm not really a big fan of those really exposing. Uh, exposing frame design. I'm not really a big fan of that. So, um, I mean, the backpack is looks pretty cool. It's just the uh, mobile suit design that I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not. I don't hate the design. I just say that I'm not really a fan of it. Anyway, uh, that's a little off topic. And you know, uh, it's pretty sad that they put the B pack as a premium banner as well. Well, I can kind of understand because the B pack, it looks like normal compared to the other A pack and the C pack. The A pack comes with a huge mobile armor. The C pack has cycle frame all over it. It looks fancy. It looks good. And meanwhile, the B pack is a pretty simple thing. That's why I can kind of understand that Bandai thinking about uh, B pack is going to having no one to buy it. No, you're wrong. Uh, I personally, I like B pack design. This B pack design really reminds me of the new Gundam for some reason. Well, I mean, the narrative Gundam is a prototype of for the new Gundam, but I, it, but this design, this overall design, kind of reminds me of the new Gundam. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's go into the detail first. Starting with the leftover parts right here. This time, the narrative B pack because that it doesn't really have that much parts that got left out. Basically, most of the design is kept except for the backpack is completely different than the A and C pack. So what we left with the kits itself, we only have the original A. I think this is the A pack or... Oh wait, actually, this is pro possibly is the A pack. Normal backpack for the A pack and the C pack. And then we have a trigger hand right here that is left over. And we also have another beam saber rack here that is left over as well. Basically, most of the parts is snapped onto the unit. So you don't have much leftover parts except for these four parts right here. All right, let's start with the head as usual. So first, the head this time, I equip with the NTD eyes this time because if you look at the narrative movie, you know the part where Michelle take over control of the narrative Gundam and force the NTD to activate. I try to recreate that scene, so that's why I put on those eyes. And now, uh, in my opinion, the narrative Gundam looks more sharp and it looks more powerful. Uh, so first, the head is pretty... It's pretty normal. It's just like the narrative Gundam C pack. So lift up, uh, moving down, and move around as well. It's pretty uh, smooth and it's pretty standard as well. There's not much to talk about the narrative Gundam head. And as usual, it gave you those great color separation at the side of the head as well. Other than that, not much special. Now let's look at the torso right here. The torso is. You know, it's just a minor changes from the CPAC that I reviewed last time. This time, the torso won't wrap around with cycle frames and it, it looks like really normal. It still contains the same thing that I mentioned in the CPAC video where this torso right here is actually really loose and is really... And, and I don't like that feeling. I kind of don't like that feeling. So you really need to use something to kind of tighten up the joints. And this time, the B-Pack itself have a little weight on it, which which means the stability is going to be even worse. So um, I suggest you to do something just to tidy it up. And also I would like to say that for some reason, uh, for some reason right here, my B pack is really loose. The torso right here is extremely loose and I have no idea why is that loose. 
and you know I gotta say that if you are some unlucky players like me I suggest you do something to that torso or eventually you're gonna be very pissed now looking at the arms right here so first the arms can move uh, for moving 360 is not that good because this time the backpack is in the way lifting up is still pretty good it's pretty impressive uh, bending is just the same as the narrative gun C pack that's not much difference uh, and then also the forearm right here is a separate joint where where you can adjust the position and at the top of the arm right here you can achieve the whole arm rotation and also it features the same thing just like the C pack where you can extend the joint at the torso right here to gain more movement from the arms uh, the overall the arms movement is pretty good and it's pretty nice and for the weapons we have these two shield right here so these two shield normally will put on the forearm right here when you try to pull them out please be gentle because they are pretty tight so just do just pull it out slowly and don't damage the parts uh, you can either you can either you know mount it on the mount it on the forearm or you can combine them and form a full shield right here actually this shield is kind of reminding me of the jagger design and you know to put it to put it as a full shield is pretty simple there is a joint at the uh, of this uh, on this gray part right here all you have to do is just basically clip it on this is how it looks like when the full shield is attached uh it looks pretty ugly in my opinion so i prefer to have two separate shield and yeah that's basically how you play with the shield look at the waist part right here this time the waist part is exactly the same like the a pack but this time is uh the main difference to the c pack is just without those cycle frames right here so it still have the same articulation right here so the front skirt can lift up pretty fine the side skirt can lift up but just don't over lift it it will pop out and then flip it to the back right here we can see two beam sabers right here um yeah. there's also beam saber effect part in the kit so you can choose so you can put it on i curved one of them so for me to shoot the photos later other than that the waist is actually not that interesting uh this leg right here is exactly the same like the apac design so first it features an initial joint right here where you can fix the legs position it's kind of like a thing now for every xg where you can adjust the legs position to the spot that you want so first kicking to the front uh, 90 degrees kicking to the back is just a very little bit kicking to the side 90 degrees overall the legs can move 360 freely to adjust the position the bending is pretty nice and then we can see this gray part right down here is movable as well flip it to the back we can see there's some this long white piece right here is movable as well and then for the for the feet right here we can move side to side or we can move side to side, more side to side like this so overall the legs and the feet movement is pretty fine and I think the articulation is great. Now, let's talk about the backpack. This time, I pull out the backpack separately so I can kind of introduce it before I snap on everything. So this time, the backpack is a pretty tall backpack because of this income at the back right here. It's pretty tall, so I can't really fit uh, in the frame. So I decided to just, you know, introduce it separately. So this time, you can see there's two large income each side of the backpack and it can switch around because if you look at the narrative movie um, the income can be extend but bandai this time won't give you any kind of movement they give you a additional piece right here for you to do the extension i would i will show you the extension later it's not that complicated it's just when you swapping the parts make sure you pull it out gently and don't damage the parts because let's be this white part here this white part right here is actually pretty fragile so uh, just pull it out gently and this time it gives you a stand as well but they didn't give you the base because this income extension part right here it only it only works on the action base 5 which means that if you want to display your narrative gonna be pack income you have to buy a and action base 5 which I think is a pretty bad move uh, like I mean I spent that much money to just to buy a kit uh you can't even give me a base that's just a joke okay but anyway if you want to display your um if you if you want to display your expansion uh your expansion of the income you can buy an action base 5 or you can 
work with something else. So depends on you. Uh, I have an action base five, but I'm not. I have no intention to build it because it will take a lot of space on my table, and I'm not planning to do that. So let's just leave it like that. Okay, back to the backpack thing. So the backpack right here, we can see some wires right here, just like in the movie. Um, the Incom supposed to be a wire guide base uh, funnel. So right here, this wire is something that I want to say as well. So in the instruction menu, the wire, they, they told you to put in the wire. That instruction is a little bit, the description is a little bad. So you need to take your time to look at how the wire should be bent because uh, if you if you if you bend it the wrong way you might have risk of damaging the wire so make sure you put in make sure before you put in the wire you need to look at care you need to look at the instruction menu carefully and the movement on the backpack is pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple it's just moving front and back right here and this back piece right here is a is also a movable piece as well but don't pull it too hard because the whole thing will fall out so just be careful now i'll show you how to do the extension part so the extension part requires you just pull out one of the side right here so uh i would just say i would just use this one let's let's just use this as an example so right now first you want to pull this gray part right here and then you want to put it on to the to the uh, extended part right here and the wire can be going go back here but i but it's a pretty simple thing you just plug in the wire and that house that's how it works so it's pretty simple all you have to do now is just take off the parts very gently um it's a pretty tough it's a pretty rough part so as you can see right here we have two type of white part right here if i can get everything off yes we have two right here so we have one side with two with two pieces and one side with one piece right here find the correct spot so the left side will be for this single piece just snap it on pretty simple just snap it on like that and this triple guide right here will be for these two lines right here so make sure when you snap in you need to look at the parts before you snap in everything so just be careful and everything will be fine but i'm not going to show the whole thing because to pull off the whole thing is actually taking a quite a long time so i'm not going to really show that this expansion part just be careful and don't break your parts okay i will finish the narrative b pack review right here because let's be honest there's not much that accessory and basically everything that i need to show you is already been shown so as i said in the beginning if you buy the if you bought the a pack and if you bought the expansion set it's a total ripoff please don't do that if you really want to buy the b pack just buy the gunner base one and one is save your cost and two you can display the a pack as well so it's a win-win situation so if you really want the b pack just buy the gunner base version other than that um something that i would like to say is that it's just um it's pretty sad for this one to be a premium bandai because it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool design and unfortunately it must be a p bandai so you know if you really like it just buy the gundam base version other than that it's overall still a pretty solid kit because it still contains the narrative gundam design it's just mine it's just the torso is a is a universal problem so it's every everybody's narrative gundam have this kind of torso problem and then for some reason um my narrative gundam b pack legs is got really loose as well so just do a little bit of tighten up and it will be all good thank you guys for watching this review and make sure you hit the little little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a video leave a like on my video as well and i'll see you guys in the next review goodbye